Salvador Dali sets himself up to be a magician. There are many kinds of magicians. And Dali would have us know that he is all of them. Not only a wizard in the command of real mysteries, but a charlatan. The sort of wonder worker who sets up his pitch on the street corner, the market square. A sublime harlequin, a high priest, and also a shameless dealer in hanky-panky and sidearm snookery. years ago he presented the world with a new idea in men's clothing. This was a coat of black cloth with four buttons on the sleeve and on the front, 41 liqueur glasses, each containing creme de moss, a fly, and a straw. This, he said, was his aphrodisiac jacket. It's not quite clear what he's trying to tell us here. It's quite all right with Dolly. Mystification is his way of life. Piscaducé is the most extraordinary surrealist object because it's concentric and eccentric in the same time. Everybody know Dali perestesic, hysterical, violent, but sometimes Dali becoming the same as the divine Hermes, one creature plenty of serenity, and in this case, this violent and antagonic animal forced by Hermes to becoming the symbol of love one with the other and the perfect symbol of peace. You tell me that Dali like it all the time, appear the same one clown. Yes, but this for me is very good. Uh, recommendation because uh, in Greek gloom is synonymous of Hermes and Dali is the incarnation of the divine Hermes. Bring me chocolate, chocolate, big chocolate. Uh, I papier chocolate, uh, the pepper, you know, the, the pepper for enveloping the chocolate. It is the name, the pepper. Metallic, any kind of metallic, brilliant, and soft, <laughs> silvering. Inventions of Salvador Dali's are sometimes conceived in the spirit of a magical transformation, sometimes as an act of discovery. And here we have the master discovering the face of death in a plastic bottle. This 
moment. Dali yet one tremendous macabre, macabre, macabre effect inside the eternal body of the Venus of Milo. Here again we have Salvador Dali attacking Greek sculpture and giving a lesson to pop artists. Courageously into the mysteries of the microscope and trick photography, integrates himself symbolically with the ultra pure unities of a drop of milk filmed at 3,000 images per second. Sunday morning is devoted to the coves and caves and rocky masses of Cap de Chris, which can be reached only in the cattle and fishing boats. With Gala and an old fisherman who's a childhood friend, Dali often visits this queerly grandiose and tormented spot where the mountains of the Pyrenees come down to drown in the sea. Geology, says Dolly, is overwhelmed by a melancholy that could never dust off its back. And this melancholy stems from its realization that time is working against it. and faces which have inspired many of Dali's most famous paintings are on watch here at the entry to the cove of Cullier. In this painting, the celebrated soft watches appeared for the first time. This limp-seeming and tormented rock has lent its features to the face of a picture he called Persistence of Memory, which reflects the anguished fears of madness. It all paints the things that are behind things. he discovers Voltaire's bust. Double image, guessing game images, multiple images, visual punch. 